guys, welcome back to my channel Because I'm Crappy. My name is Caitlin and I have another DIY for you today. I'm going to show you guys how to make these pin cushions that attach directly to your machine, making it much easier to clean up your pins. As you're sewing, you can take it out of your fabric and place it right in your pin and keep sewing. It's much faster and easier and that way you don't end up with your table full of pins, in which case they end, always end up on the floor. If you lose half of them, you end up stepping on half of them and it's just a mess. I was so tired of doing 1000 pickup, and this is a lifesaver. I'm showing you two different ways to do it. Uh, it's the same method, it's just different ways that you can place it on your machine depending on if it has belts or knobs or things on the side that are in the way. You can place it on the base in the front of your machine here or on the top, it's totally up to you and depending on the design of the machine that you have. For the base pin cushion part, I just used a cotton fabric. Um, you can use any kind of thicker type fabric. I wouldn't suggest using a stretchy fabric. Um, some cotton batting and I did use some stretch fabric for the straps that need to go around the machine. But other than that, it's really simple. You don't need a lot of materials and it is a lifesaver. I cannot tell you enough how awesome this is. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Let me know if there's anything you want to see in the future, and let's get into it! For these pin cushions, I'm using some woven cotton, but you can use any thicker material that you think will hold your pins in. For the strap, I'm using some stretchy um, lycra material. I'm going to need some matching threads, a measuring tape, a seam ripper, a pencil or something to mark your fabric with, some scissors, snips, velcro, ruler, and some stuffing and I'm taking apart some old pillows to uh, reuse the stuffing. First you want to take your measuring tape and measure around your sewing machine. So depending on where you want your pin cushion to go, you're going to measure around the base or around the top and that's going to be your strap length. You're going to measure the width and the length for how big your cushion can be. So for this machine I'm showing you that I'm going to be putting the cushion around the top of the machine. So once I have my measurements I'm writing them down and I'm numbering them because I'm making three of them for each of my machines. So I've got the length around my machine, I've got the width and the length for how big my cushion can be. So I'm going to take that strap length and I'm going to minus the length of the cushion minus one inch. So that way I have a little bit of extra for my seam allowance and that's how long my strap is going to be. Once I have that strap cut I can cut it in half and that will be enough for both sides of my straps. And then I'm adding a quarter inch um, for each side of my seam allowance, so it's a half inch. And here's a little picture of what the pin cushion will end up looking like in the end. So once I have my measurements and I've decided which fabric is for which machine, I'm taking those measurements and cutting it out of my fabric. And depending on the kind of fabric you have, if it's got a funky design like mine does, or if it's plain, you can kind of pick and choose where you want the pattern to be. It's definitely customizable depending on the space that you have. So here I'm using my rotary cutter actually to cut part of these stretchy pieces. It's a little bit easier with the ruler, except my blade is really dull, <laughs> so I'm having to cut it with my scissors anyways. And here I'm just cutting a little piece of velcro for each of my straps, and then I'm taking apart this pillow so I have access to the stuffing inside. So here I'm just going to sew one end of my strap shut and sew down the length side and then I'm going to turn it right side out. And I'm going to do those for all of my pin cushion straps.
Here I'm zigzagging on the velcro to each end of my strap, making sure that they line up on the right side, like I'm showing you here how they go together. Then I'm going to take the right sides of my fabric and the right sides of my straps and I'm going to pin those together on either side and then take the other side of my pin cushion and pin it on top like you're making a pillow, making sure that I'm leaving a hole at the bottom. So I'm going to start and finish one corner and then sew around the other three sides and then just finish off the other corner. That way you don't have to worry about it when you have to sew up your hole. Then I'm snipping off my corner so I can get a nice sharp turn and turning it right side out. Once I have my corners turned nice and sharp, then I can stuff my pin cushions. Here you can sew up your hole with your sewing machine. Very simple. Just fold in your seam allowances and pin it nice and good because the stuffing's gonna push on your edge and just sew the bottom shut. But I decided that I didn't want any stitching showing on the outside, so I opted for hand sewing the hole shut. To me, it just looks a little bit more professional. That, that way you can kind of put it whatever way you want. I'm sewing it so that my stitches will be invisible, so it doesn't matter. There isn't really an up or down to my cushion. And here's the final look on each of my machines. It's nice that you can customize these uh, so that they're not in the way of any belts or knobs or your backstitch button or dials. It's just so perfect. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY, make sure to give me a comment below and subscribe and I'll see you next time, bye!